everybody. My name is Melissa Bender and I have a great workout plan for you today. Today we are going to be doing a 40 minute body sculpt workout. So 30 seconds of cardio before each exercise, 50 seconds maximum repetitions. Our cardio is actually 35 seconds because I wanted to give us transition time in between each exercise. So I have my interval timer set for 28 rounds. My watch is ready to go. Um, Dumbbells, I'm gonna use dumbbells in this workout. They are optional if you wanna do the exercise with body weight, that is completely fine. I have two 12 pound dumbbells though. Okay guys, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, we have 10 seconds of prep time. And we're gonna start with our cardio, so I'm gonna be running in place. Knees high, belly pulls in, arms move. Our first exercise is gonna be a curtsy lunge kick. So we're gonna grab the dumbbells if you're using them. If not, keep doing your cardio. You're gonna step back across at an angle, tap the outside of your hip, bring it center, repeat. We're doing all one side. Almost there, here we go. With the dumbbell, it's the same motion. You can add a little curl in between as a bonus for the arms. Doing good, guys. Keep going. Doing good. Cardio and then other side. Knees a little higher if you can. Other side. Doing great. Just keep moving. Okay, cardio. We're gonna have single arm burpees next. If the single arm's too crazy, use both hands. Keep doing your cardio, I'm gonna demonstrate. One hand goes behind your back, hand plant, jump it out, jump forward. If you wanna use a dumbbell, you can squeeze. Otherwise, jump, come back down, switch hands. Okay, here we go. Breathe. Oops, I forgot to switch hands.
Almost there. Cardio. Next, we're gonna have a plie jump. So for plie jump, toes turn out, chest stays high. If the jump is too much, you can plie squeeze. Here we go. Toes turn out, chest stays lifted, tailbone tucked, toe to heel for the landing. If you're squeezing, squeeze through the inner thighs and the glutes. Try not to lean forward. Good job, breathe. We're getting there guys, keep moving. Cardio. Next, we're gonna have chair pose to warrior three. Keep doing your cardio, I'll demonstrate. Chair pose, both feet together, knees together. Then warrior three, either with the dumbbell or without. Center, other side. Knees high. Here we go. Back flat. It's the most important part of that movement. Doing good, guys. Hitting that chair pose in between. Excellent. Cardio. Doing good. Just tightening my hair clip so it doesn't fall out. Okay. Next, we're going to have a twisted V up. So we're going to sit down on the mat. And we're going to do all one side. Knees higher. Doing good. Okay. All one side. We're going to extend back, lift and twist. So opposite hand to foot. Back arm reaches behind you. Having a little extra twist to it. All one side, we'll do the other side next. Keep going. You can do this. Five seconds. Cardio. So we're going to do same thing, other side next. Last few seconds, here we go. Back 
Belly stays pulling in. Give it a nice twist. job. We're going to be back on the mat next for a super swim. So we're going to lay on our bellies. We're going to kick our arms and our legs. I was slacking on those knees, so let's get them up there. On your bellies, arms and legs kick. Keep that lift. Doing good, guys. hold your side plank. You can do side plank from your forearm or an extended arm. Okay. Side plank, leg lift, knee to chest. If the ground is hurting you, Double up your mat. Belly pulls in toward your back the whole time. Doing good. Almost there, guys. Keep going. Hold if you need to. Good job. Cardio. So same thing, other leg. Job, guys, keep going. You're doing a great job. Just keep. Moving. Hurry. Whew. 
Next, we're gonna have a rotating push-up. You can do the push-ups from your toes or from your knees, your choice, and in between, we're gonna rotate into a side plank, alternating sides. Let's pick up that intensity. So feet are a little bit wide, push up, hit your side plank. Excellent job, keep going. Almost there. How are you? <clears throat> Next we're gonna do a tricep drop and then a curl. If you do not have weight, you're gonna do a tricep push-up instead. Keep doing your cardio. So tricep push up, lay on your side, bottom arm hugs. You're gonna push, push, okay? I'm gonna use a dumbbell, so I'm gonna do an overhead tricep drop. Remember, there's always a way to modify if you don't have equipment. Dumbbell in two hands, belly pulls in, lift and drop. Elbows stay pointing toward the ceiling. Next, we're gonna curl if you only have one dumbbell. Hold it at both ends and you can curl. Otherwise, you can hold one in each hand, curl. Or do the other side tricep push-up if you don't have any equipment. sides. One arm, then the other. Doing great. going. Excellent. Cardio. We're going to have a reverse plank mat. You can do it on your forearms or extended arms. Your choice. more comfortable for you. Keep those hips lifting. If they drop, push them back up.
Doing good. Breathe. Five seconds. Good job for you. We're gonna have mountain climbers next. Shoulders over your hands. Heel tap, jump squat is next. Increase that intensity if you can. Heel tap, jump squat. Squat, tap your feet in the air, land with the bend of the knees. job. Pendulum squat is next. Knee facing forward. Hit that squat in between. Breathe. Without worrying about the balance or the range of motion as much yet. Breathe. Good 
Here we go. So we're just going to slide one foot forward and we're going to low squat, reaching our butt back, squeeze. So if you have a slippery surface, you can squeeze and then push it out. I'm on my mat, so I'm just going to leave that foot forward. Butt reaches back, weight shifts into that back heel. Breathe. Really making that back leg work. Doing good. Shake it out. Cardio and then other side. back behind you. Squeeze through that back leg. Breathe. on the floor. Good job. Keep going. Okay, both knees bend in the same direction, feet in the same direction. Back leg is going to lift and hover, lower, lift and hover. You're going to feel this outside of the glute, outside of the hip working. If you can, press that foot behind you a little bit at the same time. To really get in that glute squeeze. Doing great. Breathe and lift. Cardio. Same thing, other side. Really get this cardio going. Keep going. 
get in there. There we go. Cardio. <clears throat> We're gonna push up jacks next. If the push up is too much, just do uh, plank jacks. We're going to be down on the mat. Okay. Shoulder blades lift, legs lift, hands come to center, tap, center, tap, center. Easier, keep those shoulder blades lifting, but feet can be on the floor or straight up. The lower your legs are, the harder it is. Doing good. Keep going. And cardio. We're going to have a side plank reach next. Forearm or extended arm. Okay, side plank. You can hold it if it gets too much. We're going to reach under and through. Make it harder, you can balance on your feet, or you can keep them staggered for a wider base of support. Breathe. Okay. 
Good job. Just keep moving, you can do it. Cardio. We're gonna have an alternating hydrant next. Alternating sides, one leg lifts, squeeze through those outside glutes, other side. Squeeze those inner thighs together in between each lift. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze. Breathe through it. Good job. Only two exercises left after this one. So we are almost at the end. Hard again. We're gonna have a Superman burpee next. It's a fun combination. I'm gonna move my dumbbells to give myself space. Okay, so we're gonna jump down, push up, lower to the ground, Superman, push up, jump, jump. Try and keep your body in a straight line when you do that push up from the floor. Cardio, one more exercise. We're going to do a tabletop hip thrust. Last cardio. Great job making it through the workout. Make it through this last exercise and you're done. Tabletop position. You can also do this from laying on the floor if you prefer. You don't want to add the shoulders or the range of motion you need in your shoulders for this one. Breathe. Squeeze into it. I like to lift my toes on this to really activate the backs of my thighs and the glutes. If you want to hit a little bit more quads, Keep your weight a little bit more forward into the toes. Breathe. Yay, good job guys. We're gonna march it out. Let our heart rates come down if they're not already there. Let your breathing come back to normal. You did fantastic working through this. I hope you're liking 
this challenge um, and all of the workouts, the Tabatas, the running challenge we've been doing, if you're following along right now. Um, so I hope you're enjoying that. As always, the breakdown. Yay! The breakdown for this workout and the rest of the workout schedule will be up on my website, free, betterfitness.com. And if you guys are able to help out by making a donation, we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash benderfitness. So I hope to see you guys there. I will see you soon with a new workout. Let me know how you're doing with the challenge. Let me know how you liked this workout. See you guys next time.